Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Ari and today I am back with another video, a kind of like an updated video on how to take better pictures on Second Life. Um, Y'all know I'm not really the best tutorial giver, so bear with me. This is just kind of how I do it so let's just get into it these are some of my pictures that i have on instagram i really enjoy these admitting that i am always trying to find the best ways to get like high quality pictures on second life or just any type of like game like this so like even the sims i'm always like okay how do i how can i get a higher quality photo so these are some of the tips that i have and let's get started so the first thing that i like to do or this is kind of like a tutorial part of the video so something that you need to do first is on your black dragon if you use black dragon if you want high quality photos use black dragon so you're gonna come up here to dragon and then you're gonna go to edit you're gonna go to preferences and then you're here so you're gonna go to display and at the very very bottom or, or you don't have to scroll to the bottom just make sure like you have like a default setting something that's really smooth something that's very simple and cute okay you can go through everything that you like just to make sure you know change some things if you want your avatar to be on super high quality or just regular high quality this is fine then you're gonna type in right here you're gonna type in a name so i'm just gonna type in ari's set and then you're gonna press save and then your settings your basic graphic settings are going to be saved so when you come up here this is where your graphic presets are going to be at so the best thing to do is to make sure you save a preset default like make sure you save a preset because you're going to need that in order to get all of these other presets we're going to download some presets and i'm going to show y'all how i get my pictures to be like extremely high quality and yeah let's get into it so you're going to come over here to this google drive link which i will link in the description box it is created by i swain um you're gonna want to download every single last one of these one by one so just press download and i will show you guys what you're gonna need to do shortly since i already have these presets in my game i'm just doing this for demonstration purposes but you're gonna open your downloads folder and these are gonna be all of your presets you want to download them one by one simply because you're gonna have to rename them if you don't <laughs> download them one by one but you're gonna have this open in a downloads folder and then i'm going to take you to where you're gonna need to open them all right so you're gonna need to open your file explorer so hold on one second i'm gonna close my downloads folder because I need to open up File Explorer like this first, and then I'm gonna open up this download shorts right here. So File Explorer, open it up and go to your PC. It should say either my PC or local disk. I'm gonna go to local disk to my C drive, and then this should pop up. If you do not have these grayed out folders, it just means that your folders are pretty much hidden. So you wanna come up to where it says view, and then you wanna make sure it shows uh, the hidden items. So over here, it's gonna say like show hidden items. You wanna click show. If it doesn't, then you won't see it. So just click hidden items so that you can be able to see it. So anyways, from there, what you're gonna need to do is go over to users and whatever you're using, whatever windows you're using, I'm using this one in the middle. So you're gonna click on whichever one you are. And then from there, you're gonna go to app data, then to roaming, then to black dragon, and then you're gonna go to user settings. Then you're gonna go to presets, graphic, and then you're gonna copy and paste. So you would just right click or click on one and then hold shift, grab it, left click, copy, come over here and then paste it. I'm not gonna paste it cause it's already there, but that's what you would do. If you do not have a presets folder, that is because you have not made a preset here on Black Dragon. So you have to be sure you have to go to edit and then preferences and then go to display and make sure you save your name or a name, uh, like a basic preset so that you'll have uh, already a preset in your game. And that's it y'all, that's how you do that. All right, so the next thing that I like to do when I'm taking my pictures is figuring out what kind of pose I wanna do. So I'm just gonna do like a selfie pose today. We're gonna do, um, we're gonna do this selfie pose, but on Black Dragon, you have a in, in viewer poser. So I'm gonna use this poser here. That's usually what I use. I don't really use any poser, I'm sorry y'all. Um, you're gonna go to your name and then you're gonna press start posing. Then from there, I like to figure out like tweak little things here and there but for this case the phone is in this hand so I'm going to mirror this pose and then I'm going to tweak her finger so bear with me I'm gonna pose her All 
right so there you have it guys so i'm gonna back this up a little bit so y'all can see more but basically that's what i did i like to kind of go in and tweak my poses with the black dragon poser so if you have black dragon and you use black dragon then take advantage of that instead of having to pay for any poser but also if you want to make poses then hey go crazy with it so after i do that i like to just find an outfit and tweak around with my hair and everything so i'm gonna do that really quick and i'll be right back all right so this is basically what i did i went ahead and tweaked her pose a little bit more but yeah this is basically what i did i just put on a little cute chill outfit really simple yes this is the bbl body this is the bbl impressions body not just a regular bbl body so yes the booty is extremely dramatic but it looks good from the front from the from the side i don't know from the back it looks good as well but um yeah anyways this is the pose that i came up with this is the outfit that i came up with so once you figured out your outfit your poses and everything um this is how you keep from having like a basic photo like this so let me show you if you just simply go to your camera roll and you type in a number or maybe you might use one of these i preferably what you shouldn't do is type uh you shouldn't use one of these presets you should click on allow high resolutions unclick anything else make sure your format is at jpeg and then also your quality you can be at 100 if you want it to be yeah this is what your little snapshot thing in black dragon should look like then i'm gonna press custom so like instead of pressing one of these i'm gonna press custom and i'm gonna type in 3000 by 4000 because that's just my favorite favorite type of aspect height and ratio I guess and y'all know I like to move it over and I like to click on my preview so that I can see what it would look like when it's actually like the entire photo um so once you have your background set your outfit your pose and everything tweaked and you got it in the position that you want it then that's when you're going to have to actually like position your camera so if you're doing like a camera like a selfie moment like how I am right now what you want to do is kind of like make sure your camera is kind of set on your avatar because i don't know some people like depth of field some people don't um i love depth of field so i'm gonna show you kind of what i do i like to back up as far as possible until i i'm about to run into another wall or something or an object and then from here i like to press Control zero as many times as i see fit so probably about that many times and then i adjust the camera a little bit more so it's a mirror pose so it's not really gonna show the entire fit but i'm I'm just gonna adjust the camera to my liking to make it look like you know taking a selfie in the mirror all right so once this is over here i'm gonna click on this little thing right here so press that and i'm gonna be working with the depth of field area so i like to kind of play around with see how much i want her to be blurred out or how much i don't want her to be blurred out i know some people don't like depth of field so the best option is to stay in between like one and like 15 maybe because then that's when the blurriness starts to come in as you can tell so for now i'm gonna leave it down at, at like seven you can close that but now we're gonna need to go up here to where you see like this little computer looking thing i don't even know but this is your graphics presets all of the ones that you just downloaded and put in your game should be right here if they are not make sure you <laughs> rewatch and do it exactly as i did and make sure you put it in your black dragons presets folder beast modes is probably like the strongest one that's why it's called beast modes or maybe favorite these are just different presets i'm gonna go through like all of them so y'all can kind of see this is mid soft reset so it's kind of for like you know it's cute for maybe like a, a computer that can't really handle too much graphics but you still want a nice picture you can use that mid photo this is for a picture so you can use that if your computer is a little like you know on the lesser side and you don't want your computer to explode trying to take a picture beast mode's favorite and things of that nature those are the ones you're gonna be like okay <laughs> You, you want to make sure you have a really good computer to be using these. But low preset is for, you know, the lower end computers. This is a good preset for y'all, for people who play on laptops and y'all want to play Black Dragon. This is a good preset. And then I'm going to use Beast Modes because I just like Beast Mode. Um, it just looks really good. I like Beast Mode and Favorite. They're kind of similar. Let me see what Favorite looks like. And then this is Favorite. It's super sharp, okay? My game barely has, like, any frames for real. So I'm going to go back to Beast Modes. I'm going to do the top Beast Mode. Okay, so to Typically, I like to do beast modes or a favorite, but today we're gonna do beast modes. I'm gonna position my camera once again. It is a lot laggier as you, 
can tell it's so much choppier frames have dropped extremely but once you've done that that's when you're gonna open up this little thing again and you're gonna play around with your depth of field options I like to just play around with my field of view uh, I'm gonna bring it up to maybe like halfway and then I'm gonna just snap a snap so I can see what it's gonna look like so that's kind of how it came out so far if I don't like it I just kind of like play around with my angles my camera angles sometimes I like to tilt it because it kind of looks like the phone is tilted up well it's kind of tilted the other way actually so let me tilt it like this way see is it going okay there we go so boom now you got a little selfie um sometimes i want more depth of field so i bring it up extremely because you have to kind of be dramatic on the settings so the picture can be dramatic as you can tell like it's still not as blurry as i would like it so you gotta be like extremely dramatic like low-key you gotta be like this just to get like the perfect blur that you're looking for or if you're a good editor outside of like sl you can edit photos i cannot i'm not really the best editor then um you know you could just blur it with an editor app or something but yeah i just kind of play around with my depth of field in each photo and yeah that is basically how i take my high quality pictures now i have been doing my best every single day maybe not every day but like as much as i can to learn better ways to take better pictures on second life and like how people take high quality pictures a lot of what you wear on your avatar has to do with like how good the picture is going to come out um usually after that i just go back to my default so i'm going to go to re set i just go back to my default and then everything is smooth again and everything is cool and then i just stop posing and she goes back to how she is so you can go from having a basic picture like this or a super cool picture that is very like high quality so just take that in co into consideration you guys um i hope this tutorial was helpful i don't even know if it was really a tutorial i just kind of wanted to show y'all how i take my pictures now an uh, updated version of how i take my pictures because i know i've made like two videos like this in the past but um yeah if this was helpful let me know in the, the comments below um what was helpful about it and if not let me know in the comments what was not helpful so yeah anyways i will see y'all in my next video Bye.